So we're back here on the Duncan Duo Show talking about the Tampa Bay real estate market. And we're going to talk to you next about something that, um, you know, that we've been doing for a couple of years that it seems more and more real estate agents are starting to do, but uh, I think we kind of led the charge, so to speak, in Tampa Bay. Uh, but, but we do a coming soon program. And, and I think this is something that I learned from other real estate agents. One of, the, one of the unique things we bring to the table is that we go around the country uh, and meet with some of the other top real estate agents in the country and learn from them. You were just with us at a conference, Robert. We went to Boomtown. We took back a whole, you know, whole pa pages and pages of notes of things to, to implement and improve in our business. And a few years ago, one of those things that I learned was, was from somebody that had a massive amount of retail experience and got into real estate. And, and they were amazed at how houses just kind of hit the market and then everyone kind of gravitates to them um, versus a lot of product releases where they kind of do some teasing and, and kind of prepare you for the for something hitting the market um, and and kind of a, a launch, so to speak. And, and I think we've applied the same thing to real estate now with our Coming Soon program. I think the best way to describe it, if you really think about it, is almost like the lead up to the opening of a movie, you know, yeah. the movie trailer. Yeah, no doubt you about it. You kind of at first hear, okay, they're going to be making this movie and maybe you're really into who knows whatever it is. But yep. then all of a sudden you hear who's going to be in it. Then you see the first trailer, then the second trailer, then the commercials, then it's out and you go, you spend your money, you see it. So it's almost like that, but, you know, houses. And it's, it's almost somewhere in between a pocket listing and actually a listing being on the market. Because a pocket listing is just somebody you know who would be interested in selling if the price is right, yep. whatever. Full on the market MLS is full market. So yes. this is almost somewhere in between. Them. And the sellers always have an option. You know, it's always their choice. Uh, we, we explain to them the pros and the cons of, of all the different programs that we do, and, and then they ultimately have a decision to make about what they agree to and what, the, what they sign up for. But the Coming Soon program for us creates pent up demand. We think it's one of the unique things we do differently than other companies because what we're doing is we're letting the market know that something's coming. Uh, and we're teasing them with information. People want what they can't have. Um, I, I, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I would go out, and I've stopped the last few years, but we would go out as a family on Black Friday uh, to, to buy stuff. And we would know about the sales three, you know, a couple of weeks ahead of time what was going to be for sale, the, the TV, the computer, whatever, the gaming system, whatever it is, we'd know ahead of time. They tease you with it, you know, so they create, this, they create hype for it. That's what Coming Soon does for your house. It, it creates some hype for your house. It creates people interested so that when day one hits, we're much more proactive and the traffic comes quicker. It's one of the reasons why our homes sell faster, sell for more money, because we're going to create that demand from the beginning instead of, just hitting the market, and then sometimes it taking a week for people to kind of figure out when they can see the house, um, and and you know that that's all geared up ahead of time. So people are waiting for the product, and and I just think it makes people want it more. I mean, just like anything else, you know, if you if you know, there's a restaurant. Well, I'll I'll give you a great example. I love chicken tortilla soup at Chick Fil A. It's a they do it seasonally. It's like a it's like a spicy soup uh, during the seasons that they have it. I absolutely love it, and during the seasons they don't have it, I want it. And so like the they, McRib. what's that? Like the McRib. Like the McRib at McDonald's, <laughs> yes. So, so I, you know, I'll go there, to, you know, I'll go there now, and, well, I won't go there now, it's Sunday, but but I'll go there, they won't, they won't be, they don't have it, it's out of season. But during the colder months, and they bring it back, and I, and I love it. So it's the same thing, you're, you're basically giving someone a taste of something, but they can't have it all yet. They can't buy it yet, they can't go look at it in person yet. And so it does create a, an extra incentive. And there's plenty of times for our home sellers in addition to doing the instant cash offer, we'll come in and we'll, we'll give you a cash offer up front for your house and you don't ever have to market it. Um, we'll match and beat all the, you know, all the hedge funds you hear on the radio. But in addition to that, there's plenty of times where we'll do the coming soon program and we will get someone that wants to buy the house before it ever even hits the market. So if you're somebody that wants to avoid the hassle of selling your home, uh, but you want max retail value, the Coming Soon program can help make that happen too because you're never dealing with the, the chaos and the frustrations that happen traditionally. And again, those are rare circumstances. It, you know, our goal is to not show the house, but we want to relay any type of communication. We have, you know, we'll have real estate agents call us and say, hey, this house isn't on the market. We'd really like to see it. Uh, my customer's willing to make a full price you know, cash offer. And you know, we have to relay that to the customer um, and then the customer can decide. Sometimes they say no, sometimes they say yes, but ultimately it can help, you know, it can help bridge the gap for someone that's out there thinking about, you know, I want to do one of those instant cash investor offer deals where I might not get as much money as I want uh, versus, you know, for convenience. This could bridge the gap and give you both. And, and it's one of those things with our coming soon program that 
uh, we think is very, very powerful marketing that gets missed a lot by home sellers deciding to go, you know, the, the hedge fund offer path. Yeah, and there's all different reasons why home homeowners might choose to do that. I mean, sometimes there's tenants in the property, and the tenants aren't being super cooperative, but they know that they have an end of the lease date, so we get everything prepared. We kind of do a coming soon thing for that. There's other uh, people who are maybe doing work on the house, and they're not fully ready to be on the market, have people showing the house all the time. and. You know, then there's some people that they maybe just haven't found anything. They're not totally ready to go on the market. So these are people that are definitely going to sell, and these Correct. are properties that are that are highly motivated and eventually going to go on the market. But a lot of times, you know, if you can figure out a way to get in there a little bit early, um, it's advantageous to you, and it's also advantageous to the seller because sometimes the sellers just don't want people being able to go through the property or the tenant or or whatever. Maybe the seller's doing work on the property. Maybe they're replacing the flooring. Maybe they're replacing. Uh, maybe they're repainting everything. If you go in there early, maybe you can decide, hey, don't worry about that. Let's just do it for this Correct. price. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. So. Keep your eye out for that. Yeah, and I think the other the other uh, caveat to the coming soon program it, and and just being responsive and quick, um, you know, with with the process, pe people's attention spans today are shorter and they have less patience. They want things to happen more quickly, um, and it's one of the testaments to our team. I mean, we're always looking to be cutting edge to do things someone else isn't doing to make the process smoother for the customer, um, you know, to provide them max benefit that we can, um, you know, to get them the most value and opportunity. However, as a home buyer, the Coming Soon program is a great thing um, because it, it, you, know, you can be ready to strike, um, but also you could have an opportunity to get a house that isn't fully out there you know, for everyone else to compete with. And it, it's certainly the seller's choice. One other testament to our team that I love, you know, we were at the conference this past, um, you know, a little over a week ago, and it was you know, more or less talking about how um, important it was to respond quickly and, and to be kind of there for a home buyer. And, you know, the solo practitioner real estate agent, I think, misses out on opportunities sometimes because they can't be in as many places. If they get, you know, a couple of different buyers that want to see a house quickly or they have family plans or they have a personal, you know, commitment and that house hits the market and it isn't going to last a weekend, um, you know, that, that person has a hard time keeping up with that sometimes. It, it, you know, in our environment, because we have a team set up, if one of our agents can't get out there, they'll get someone else out there. We don't want you to miss out. And that, that's one of the resources we have as being a large team that we are, is that the customer isn't going to be disadvantaged by manpower when uh, a hot property hits or when they have to respond quickly or when they need to look at a house quickly and that agent might be on vacation or on another appointment. So I, I think that um, it, it's the way real estate's going. It's, it, it's power in numbers. And, you know, we, we're able to, in many instances, get hard customers into homes because we act more quickly than someone else. Well, it's not just that. It's that we have so many agents on our team. We have such a large pool of properties that are getting ready to come on the market or properties that are coming soon. Or, I mean, we have a few dozen right now that are working through the process. And so if you're a home buyer and you're looking at just what's on the MLS or just what's on some of the other, you know, third-party websites, that's not really everything that's really on the market. It's almost Correct. like a ghost market. Back when they used to say, oh, there's all these ghost properties that are foreclosures that are waiting to come on the market. Well, we never really saw that because the banks kind of just trickled them onto the market. But there is always a, a pretty good-sized inventory of homes that are pre-market in, in any market. And so because we have such a large team, we have a large pool of those properties. So if you're seeing something out there or you're looking in a really highly desirable area, um, you know, some of those third-party websites do show coming soon properties, but you can give us a call. I mean, we'll let you know what we have coming on the market. Right. We'd Whether you're an agent or a customer. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, we yeah. get agents all the time contacting us on social media and saying, hey, do you have this available? Do you have this coming? You know, any, anything like this coming? And there are times where, you know, we can put something together before a house hits the market. It's not the norm. It's rare. And a lot of times the seller declines it and they don't want to be a part of it. Uh, but ultimately, we give them that choice and that option. And, and uh, it's the right thing for a lot of people, similar to, you know, similar to why it's the right you know, the right solution for some people to say, you know what, I just want to sell my house cash, come in and give me cash and buy it, and, and I want to rip the Band-Aid off and be done with it. So, um, you know, there's certainly um, an aspect of both sides of things. that It's really, what it really boils down to is we want to give the customers choice. We want to give them all the options we can. And the idea 
uh, that a real estate agent comes in and says, oh, here's how we do it, and this is only how we do it, and this is our way or the highway, uh, is, is just a flawed logic in today's market. I, I can't tell you how many times I see real estate agents with that kind of a pitch. Um, you know, you, you should offer them as many solutions as you possibly can, and, and that's what we look to do is, is to accomplish their needs because every seller, we talk about this a lot too, generally, Sellers have two primary des one of two primary desires when they sell their home, either time or money. They, they either want max dollar or they want it to happen fast. Now, again, sometimes they want, you know, certainly a lot of people want both. I think there's no question. But there's one that usually dominates over the, over the other. And then our solutions are going to really apply to that, you know, customer's needs of either expedience or, you know, finding a way to get them max money. Uh, max money doesn't, you know, the higher the price, the longer homes typically stay on the market. So the, the, the max money person, it may take a little longer to find the right buyer for that house. Well, and that's what desirability of location also cures. You know, it, that's something that's in a really desirable area is usually going to go really fast and for the most money. So, yeah. you know, when they say location, 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 I mean, it really does all come down to that. 